Hi, I'm Aikis. Emma from Emma Sparrow Machine Shop announced another video event, Rough Cut 2022. And you know what that means. That's right, time for me to make another video. Hmm, the theme is making a cutting tool. What could I make? Lots of cutting tools on my future projects list, but which one of those do I need right now the most? Hmm. Drill bits. It's drill bits. I certainly don't need more of them. I have more than plenty here, but after a few years of use, they aren't in the best of shapes anymore, to put it mildly. So, my project is regrinding drill bits, and I would like to grind them with a four facet grind. I saw Stefan Gotteswinter's video on that grind, link below, and that looks nice, elegant, and easy to do. So, Let's go over to the lathe and grind some drills. Okay, I have a grinding wheel mounted in the lathe spindle and the drill is mounted in the tool post and yeah, let's grind. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't like the setup. Okay, what's this over here? Huh. Completely coupled together, but looks like a D-bit grinder. Let's use that instead. So, general layout of this thing. We have a router motor up here, with a grinding wheel mounted, that's the spindle. Down here, we have an old worn out slide that provides the in-feed axis. Then this bearing block here allows this main beam to swivel like this. Then we have two setting axes that we can set to the clearance angles we need. That's this one up here. And this one down here. And then on top we have a 5C indexer that we can, if you loosen this pin, Spin 180 degrees and this allows us to grind both flutes of the drill. Before I start, everything I do is following Stefan Gotteswinter's video on 4 facet grinding. So for a good explanation, watch that video. I have a 10mm drill in the collet here. This upper joint is set for a tip angle of 118 degrees on the drill and the Lower one right here is over 5 degrees, that's the clearance angle of the primary relief. What I'm doing now is bringing the cutting edge of the drill nearly horizontal and then clamp the collet in this position. Switching to 20 degrees clearance angle for the secondary relief and then bringing the drill back to the grinding wheel. Let's have a look at a few drills under the microscope. This first one here has a traditional grind. And the traditional grind has two relief surfaces, one for each cutting edge. And these relief surfaces are not flat planes, instead they roll off as they go away from the cutting edge. And also with this grind, due to only two surfaces, you're left with a thick web in the center that does not come to a point 
Instead there's this line here and this line is the reason a traditional ground drill does not self-center. So this is a traditional grind, two surfaces rolling off, no defined center. This drill here, this is very typical of most drills I use. It's chipped obviously, this is why I want to re-grind drills. But this also has a traditional rolling relief surface. But additionally this has a thinned web or a split point. So this back here is not a clearance angle but instead this is only here to remove some of the web here. So we have a cutting edge here actually in the center. Instead of where before there was this thick line we now have a defined point and actually a cutting edge here that can cut also in the center. This here, this is a carbide drill and this has a four facet grind on it. This is new, this is factory grind with a primary relief here, this is a flat plane and a secondary relief back here, also a flat plane. So this makes four facets, four facet grind. And two facets here, you could say they approximate the rolling off of the traditional grind with two flat surfaces. And also again, this drill has a thinned web. So this back here, this third surface here is for thinning the web. So we get a cutting edge here in the center. This enables this drill to drill on center without pre-drilling or a center punch mark. And this is how my four facet grind looks after I figured out how to do it on my debug grinder. We have a primary relief here, secondary relief here, and all four facets meet up in the center here at one point. So we have a single point that centers the drill and then the two relief angles for each flute that makes this four facets. But also this drill has no split point anymore. I had to grind that away because the cutting edge was chipped so much. So this has quite a thick web here. It self centers because there's a point here instead of a line. It can start a hole but you feel the pressure of, of this thick web. For this drill to perform great it would need a third facet here like the cover drill had that splits the point and creates a cutting edge here that's not as absurdly negative as, as this one here. But if you have a pre drill hole this works totally fine. If you can give it enough pressure on the quill it can actually start a hole. So yeah this is how my four facet grind looks. You can see it's not perfect because of rigidity issues but whatever. This is how most of my drills looked before with this completely destroyed cutting edges. And this is how they look after regrinding. We have a nice sharp cutting edge here and this drill can give quite a bit of service again. I have the 8mm drill that's freshly ground in the milling machine now. This is a piece of free cutting mild steel and let's have a look how it rolls. I'd call that good. And this is the 10 mm drill. and a 6mm.
That also works nicely. So, back in July when I decided on building a debit grinder for my Rough Cut 2022 video, I had this fancy idea in my head of putting a false ending at this point in the video. You know, right now I would be saying something along the line of, huh, you thought I would just end this video here without talking about the debit grinder at all? And then I would go on to the actual main part of the video, talking about the debit grinder in detail. But the truth is, while I did manage to achieve my main goal, design and build a debit grinder from scratch in the two months I had left until October 1st, I don't have the time anymore for the in-depth video on the debit grinder that I intended to make. So instead of rushing a mediocre one just to get it out, I've kept this Rough Cut 2022 video just about the 4 facet grind and I will take my time with a separate video about the debit grinder and I will release that probably sometime next month. Stay tuned if you are interested. Until then, thanks to Emma for organizing these great video events every year and thank you all for watching.